if you file weekly unemployment benefits in Connecticut, now you can automate it. So simply install this package, go into Python, run this command to get the entry module. You will be returned this path to the provided Excel file. We're going to copy that for use in a couple seconds. Simply run the main function. And now just follow the on-screen on prompts and we're going to paste the Excel path that we used or that we copied a couple seconds ago. Now you're going to enter in your reemploy CT credentials so that it can be saved and used very quickly when you're running the script. And now you'll notice that we get an error because we don't actually have any data in our Excel file. So we're going to go to the Excel uh, path that we copied earlier. Simply open up the provided template. And through the magic of video editing, I've pre-populated this file with some bogus data. And you'll notice that the date of work search is in the previous week of which I'm recording this so that I, that I can actually get this to work. So close all that, make sure it's saved. Now we're gonna run the main function again. Notice we don't get an error, just a warning message for your usability. And that was an example. So let's see what it really looks like using a real account. So it logs in, you have to solve a CAPTCHA, log in. It goes through some pages for you, enters in the Excel data. And once it's entered in all of the data for you, it will give you a chance to review. And if you're satisfied, just hit submit. It will blast through some more confirmation pages, go to the weekly certifications, and then you can review again. If you think this is correct, then hit the next. It will blast through some more confirmations and then that's it, the script will exit and then that's it, you're done. Now in the example, I simply copied the provided Excel template path and then just entered it right back into the, the, the script asking for it. And that's not really recommended because you will want to save the provided Excel template uh, wherever it is most uh, convenient for you on your computer. So when it gives you the path to the provided template, you go to that path, grab the template, save it wherever you want on your computer. And then when the script asks you for the Excel, uh, the path to the Excel file, that's when you give it the new path that you've saved the Excel file at. That way it's just more convenient for you.